Tugten is only 23 years old, but he's already a dance master. He started at an early age and comes from a long line of dancers. For the monks of Dramitse, dancing is a form of moving meditation, a spiritual practice that both purifies and cleanses negative emotions such as fear, greed or anger. Tugten is the successor of Meme Baje, a 76-year-old lay monk who is directing these rehearsals for the last time. Meme Baje has fought his entire life to protect this dance and preserve its choreography. He was the most brilliant and exceptional dancer of his generation. During the festival, that will take place in a few weeks, the dancers will all wear masks and play drums. The sound of the drums symbolizes victory of the Buddhist way. Hehehe, <laughs> 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 After the festival, Meme Baje is planning to retire to the mountains. There he'll recite prayers and mantras until death frees him from his worldly existence. Before he goes, the great master gives his successor some final words of advice. Cham, 
Meme feels a sense of déjà vu. When he was young, his own master was none other than Tugten's great grandfather. Oma, chonele labja dabo, sinele kachim dabo. Ni ji kan ge na ni thelu theo jongu jongza ni oya jongta ginebo. Ni Yes. Five hundred kilometers from the Dramitse Monastery, Timfu, Bhutan's capital, is home to a hundred thousand inhabitants. One seventh of the total population of this country, no bigger than Switzerland. One of the busiest shops in Timfu is a store for monks. <laughs> Kempo is a professor of Buddhist philosophy in Drumitse. He uses a brief stay in the capital to buy some gifts for the monastery's 70 monks. <laughs> Kempo and his friend Karma would like to buy a more prestigious gift for the Rinpoche, the spiritual leader of Dramitsa. These cloth paintings, called tankas, represent Buddhist deities and are used as aids in meditation. <laughs> In Bhutan, the government sponsors and encourages the teaching of traditional arts. These trades are thriving and are being handed down to a growing number of students. In this school, where Kempo and Karma bought their tanker, the students also learn how to make dance masks. Oh. 
一度も絶対出ない。相手が、あとに、あとに、かなり苦しいことに、当然出ていらっしゃるところだと思います。At Bhutan's Institute of Language and Cultural Studies, Kempo participated in a mission funded by UNESCO to save the mask dance of Dramitse. The institute took on the colossal work of documenting the dance in order to ensure that it passed on in its most complete form. Yannick Juris and her team are about to complete a book and film that will be distributed in every school throughout the kingdom. This Dramitsi Natsham is unique to Bhutan. I think it belongs to Bhutan. Other dances, I think, has been coming from Tibet. But this, uh, this dance is specific to Bhutan and has been, I mean, born in Bhutan. Kempo found some ancient manuscripts that allow him to trace back to the dancer's origins. In the midst of the rainy season, it will take Kempo and Karma three days on the road to reach Dramitse. Tugten, the young dance master, never raises his voice at his students. Teaching is carried out very naturally, mainly by imitation and repetition. The dance masks are carefully kept in a special room. The dancers are only allowed to wear them on the sacred day of the festival. 
우리 집 참자 사이 채니 사이 채니 히루가 어머니 또 대쇼리가 하니 오타 지루나가 속한 게 오냐 이니 니 제맙인 오초 생이 제맙 생이 제맙 상해 친매 안 내리니 다니 진디기 개부 생이 기워라 랑오 상태 길래 안내 어머 소 담을링아 직진 발에 저와 하나 안내 보 어머 미리 림지 삼지로 기승 발 랑오 닦아 친매 개한 공원이 어저께 개 개부 오소 기워라. In the Dramitse dance, the animal masks represent deities associated with Padmasambhava's paradise. Oddly, the dancers aren't required to identify with any specific animal. They must transcend outward appearances and visualize their heavenly deities. <laughs> Omoni <laughs> It is very likely these animal masks originally came from ancient shamanic rituals, but there is no historical proof to confirm this. The rhythm of monastery life hasn't changed for centuries. The great master, Songtrol Rinpoche, is the reincarnation of a spiritual leader who lived in the 15th century. Since his arrival, the monastery has regained its former scale and scope. He has strongly promoted and developed the teaching of the dancers. The Rinpoche oversees strict observance of all the important rituals, like the fire sacrifice. For the Buddhists, fire purifies and cleanses. It consumes lies, ignorance and the illusions of ego. Sangtrol Rinpoche reigns over the monastery and a large part of the mountain like a feudal lord. Many peasants from the region pay him a substantial share of their harvest. <laughs> Some of these peasants, like Che Wong, are lay monks. They're allowed to get married and have children. The Nyingmapa order they belong to allows them to combine family and spiritual life. 
Tutup, 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 Ciò non ti mangi tutti i dossi, oggi non bocci la sua di chi mi bacci invece di tingi samba tu bota ciò non ti mangi tutti i dossi, oggi non bocci la sua di chi mi bacci invece di tingi samba tu bota ciò non ti mangi tutti i dossi. Here, Padma Sambhavar is omnipresent. The great tantric master introduced and disseminated Buddhism in the Himalayas in the 8th century. He's regarded as the second Buddha. Kempo and Kama arrive at one of the largest fortresses in Bhutan, Punaka. Kama, who works as a guide, is particularly fond of this highlight of Bhutanese architecture. To the left of Buddha Sakyamuni, the historical Buddha, we once again find Padmasambhava, the beloved great master also known as Guru Rinpoche. Karma has a special request for him. He'd like to go back to school follow the Buddhist path and find a master who can teach him to meditate. Kempo is moved by Karma's interest and decides to show him the place where he'll soon retire on a three-year retreat. This retreat is part of Buddhist initiation. One day, Every dancer from Dramitse will have to follow in Kempo's footsteps. Though Kempo must take a vow of silence, he is in no way shut off from the world in some cave. He takes his friend to the place of his retreat, a small dwelling where another monk is staying at present. Karma hopes to be able to go on a retreat one day as well. He's curious to know what such an inner journey is like. Mm. 
직동 직지아 주담 지세대 아니면 세미유 라 직붐 직지 직동 직지아 주담 That makes 4,000 prostrations a day, an exhausting physical ordeal, the most difficult part of the retreat. The only person Kempo will be allowed to speak to during the three-year period is his spiritual master. After Songtrul Rinpoche, Kempo is the second most important person at the monastery. The monks are happy to see him again before he disappears for three years. <laughs> At the monk's school, Tugten and his classmates also learn how to make ritual cakes called Torma. Torma are made of barley flour and coloured butter. Making them allows the monks to create with care and generosity without any attachment. For them, the cakes are magical offerings that appease spirits, remove obstacles or accumulate merit for a future life. There are hundreds of varieties, adapted to different rituals and several Buddhist deities. <laughs> After the festival, the cakes are offered to the birds. <laughs>
As a professor of Buddhist philosophy, Kempo complements Meme Bajé's instruction. He teaches the young dancers how to visualize while they dance. Nang this spiritual practice helps transform reality from the ordinary into the extraordinary. It's an active meditation exercise that incites the dancers and the audience to lift the veil of appearances. The dance isn't considered to be entertainment. For them, it's a real treasure of the mind. The choreography is no longer in jeopardy, but these young dancers' power of visualization needs to be developed. This invisible task is the only thing at risk of being lost today. At the monastery, 
All daily activities are linked to this endeavor of inner cleansing and purification of the soul and ego. Everywhere, the wind and prayer flags also help purify the atmosphere, appease dead spirits, and protect all living beings. <laughs> The festival will begin in two days. All the lay monks scheduled to dance leave their families and head to the monastery. After meeting up in the mountains, the monks and lay monks join forces to inaugurate the festival with a procession. The festivities begin at two in the morning. Some of the lay monks, led by Che Wong, dress up as Atsara. The Atsara are clowns, celestial jesters who help with the festival's organization. Their first mission? Wake everybody up. Just 
Before the dancers, all the monks must purify themselves through rituals and prayers. During the three days of the festival, they will hardly sleep more than a few hours. monks invoke the wrathful deities. A dance inside the temple is offered up to them as a sign of devotion and appeasement. Unfortunately, a heavy fog has settled over the monastery. Despite the downpour, the dancers get their masks. They hope that in a few hours, the skies will be clearer. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Atsara have decided to give a little impromptu show. <laughs> The main role of the Atsara is to entertain the public, make the kids laugh and help everyone make it through to the end of the performances. <laughs> to stop the rain, the clowns launch into a parody of a Buddhist ritual. They mock and poke fun at the real rituals performed by the monks. In a heavily policed society, the Atsara are the only ones who enjoy the true freedom of speech. They're allowed to criticize everything, religion, the king, and the governor. These holy jesters provide mental release from seriousness, which could smother a community that's too obedient and religious. Self-deprecation and laughter as a means of detachment are integrated into the transmission of Buddhism. Backstage, Tugten and his dancers finally get the green light to put on their costumes and deity masks. <laughs> Uh, 
Ma Despite the rain, the dance must take place on what's considered the most auspicious day. Not to do so would bring ill fortune. For the dancers, the rain adds an element of difficulty. They must follow the choreography, visualize the heavenly deities, remain focused, and not slip. It's a dance of liberation, where the energy of the dancers' bodies is transformed into spiritual energy. It's believed that this dance establishes peace and harmony in the region protecting it from enemies and natural disasters. It is the opportunity for the public to connect with the deities they'll encounter after death and to visualize Padmasambhava's heavenly paradise. Meme Baje has gone off to pray in the mountains, waiting for death and his encounter with the heavenly deities he so often visualized. Kempo has begun his three-year retreat. After this initiation, he'd like to teach Buddhism in Europe. Tugten keeps practicing and progressing as he transmits what Meme taught him. As for Karma, he's still seeking his path. He has recently learned Vipassana meditation in India. <laughs> 